Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the friction stir welding. It is one of the welding process that can able to join the different metals. The main advantage of this process is there is no toxic fumes emit from the process. Apart from the conventional welding, it can able to weld different materials without any fumes or gases. So let's get to this video. Here the tool consists of a shoulder and pin. The pin has a thread that is anti-clockwise. The tool rotates in the clockwise direction and joins the metal. First of all, the two metals that are to be joined are so, uh, bind together then the tool is uh, rotated. Actually, this tool is attached to the spindle of a uh, machine, then it tends to rotate and uh, makes a forward direction so that the, it, it creates friction. That is, the shoulder is in contact with the top face of the metal and then it goes in the uh, direction of a straight run so that it uh, welds the, both the metals important parts are the pin and the shoulder the tool rotation a downward force is acted to make a punch and then it moves forward so this is the description of the working the work pieces is joined that a wear resistant tool of different materials rotating then material becomes plastic due to friction heat rotation tool leads to stirring and subsequent mixing of a material and Finally, the joint is made. Then, this is the geometry. Design of the tool shoulders. The two types of shoulders available are the concave and the convex shoulders. Mostly concave shoulders are preferred. And the design of tool pins. It is a round bottom pin, a flat bottom cylindrical pin, truncated cone pin um, based on the required requirements. And the tool material characteristic, the tool must be a wear resistant tool and it uh, it has a good toughness, fracture toefness and machinability and coefficient of thermal expansion because if it the coefficient of thermal expansion is more or less it, it, it has a, a great uh, defect in the uh, joint material. This shows the working of a uh, um, tool then the materials used are which can be welded are aluminium and its alloys copper high strength materials titanium the basic uh, important characteristic is i can also be able to mesh, uh, weld the titanium and high strength materials because it's only heating uh, um, heating the material due to friction so that uh, it can able to weld uh, uh, the materials that are to be joined becomes plastic and welded together then the tool materials used are the polycrystalline cubic boronitrate and hard work tool steels etc. So let's get into the disadvantages and advantages. The advantages are that no toxic fumes and excellent mechanical properties used to weld materials that cannot be welded by fusion welding and dissimilarity materials can be welded. This is a major advantage and the weld quality is good. There is a low shrinkage, distortion, etc. And the disadvantages are it is a costly machine and very large force are required. The rigid clamping system is needed because uh, the clamping system varies depends upon the workpiece. If you make a sheet metal, the fixture is different. If you may if you want to weld a solid bar, this is different, etc. An exit hole remains after the tool is removed. That exit hole means this is the First of all, the pin is able to uh, punch on the material so that the, the hole is a problem in this type of friction welding process. So this is a short video friends. If you like this video, please hit a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos. So thank you for watching.